Don't start. Don't start. No, wait. Don't start. I'm not sitting down yet. Ah. Sorry, there was someone at the door. Hello. Hello, and welcome to Custom Zombies. Wait a second. This isn't the Custom Zombies. This is a Custom Zombie map. This is called Minecraft. Uh, Minecraft what? You may be asking, Minecraft Village version 1.2. Actually, the map is made by Fear X Reaper X666. Uh, not XXX. Oh, I shot. Okay, I tabbed out to check the name of the map, but then it like popped up anyway. There's a YouTube channel if you want to check it out. Sure, cool, whatever. I don't know anything about them. So, I have no affiliation with this person. This map is a little older. I think it actually came out about a year ago. So, sorry. Also, special thanks to Online X420 for the awesome Minecraft textures. I do actually know Online X420. He's kind of cool. I haven't talked to him in a very long time, though. Uh, he made the first Minecraft map for zombies, which is pretty cool. Or at least, if he didn't publish it, he at least worked on it a lot. I don't remember. I'm pretty sure he's the one who made it. Anyway. Enough of the credits popping up on screen. You can read those on your own. I am doing a custom zombie map right now. You probably know that. There's a lot of features. I'll go into those in a second. Let me let me let me intro a little bit first, okay? So this is a custom zombie map. This is on World at War, which is a Call of Duty game, and it's on PC, which allows you to do all the cool mods. If you're on console, unfortunately, you will not be able to do that. But if you're on PC, well, you're in luck, buddy, because if you um. If you play on PC, then you can do the mods. I was gonna like make up an affiliate link for a website and like just just say a bunch of gibberish. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not going to like buy the game on your own if you don't own it already. I'd I'd recommend it. The game's pretty cool. I I'll have to try and get like a, an affiliate link for somewhere so I can actually advertise the game and profit from it in some way or another. I guess I could get like an Amazon affiliate link, but I don't even know if they sell the digital codes. They may only sell the um. Like the physical copies, which I wouldn't recommend getting the physical copy, but you actually have to, um, whenever you get it, if it, I think you have to update it a ton, uh, whereas Steam by default has all the stuff. So to-do list, open the nether portal. Okay, so apparently we need to open the nether portal. Have three papped weapons at once. What, what does this mean? Uh, obtain all 17 perks. Okay, so buy the ending. Yes, this map has an ending. Man, quit saying all the feature lists. I want to go over it. Don't pack a punch the Thompson. You've been warned. Uh, man, that's so vague. He should say, like, it's a glitch if you do it. Uh, not like this weird tease, like, ooh, who knows what it does? It might actually be cool. Or maybe it actually breaks the game. I don't know. He didn't really say. So I'm not sure if I'm actually not supposed to or if I'm actually supposed to. Anyway custom zombie map i have plenty of those on my channel uh, i have like over 300 of them so if you want to check out any other maps if you find this one cool feel free to do that now on to the actual features of this map i need to find the zombie this map is so big and they spawn all over so i'm actually having difficulties finding the zombie to kill on round one all right so no dogs which i love is the feature like, I think it's it's kind of funny to talk about it as a feature, but, like, dogs really suck on custom maps because some of them are, like, way too hard right off the bat. Uh, and you, like, have a ton of trouble um, trying to live whenever the zombie spawns. So this looks like the nether portal to me. There's an Easter egg song, which I have music off, so I probably won't be hearing that. There's 17 perks. Seven of them are custom. Have fun trying to figure them out. Uh, so I, I guess we have to do that. There's uh, a wonder fizz so we can get some nice perks off of that Mob of the Dead styled zombies, which as you can tell Mob of the Dead styled zombies Viable ending amazing Solo quick revive double tap 2.0 and custom power-ups now. I have been uh, I, I got a little hint from uh, some of the comments on the map download, which the, the link will be in the description below, of course. And it seems as though you can get uh, some perks from some drops, or there's some drop that lets you uh, increase your perk limit or something along the lines of that. So that's something we'll have to look at. Now, version 1.1, there are updates, better vulture rates, smoke appears, and can find custom perks, uh, custom perks and cherry obey the limit. Soul boxes, trust me, it works. Uh, doesn't crash when restarting. That sounds cool. Updated custom perk icons, 
and zombie counter which as you can tell there's a zombie counter there and then the version 1.2 update it added more buildings custom perks now appear in the wonder fizz custom perk bottle drink animations on custom perks lots of new weapons in the box and a bigger nether so now what i want to do is find out what buildings should we open like this place is pretty big and the zombies are really slow right off the bat like there's five of them and i it like <laughs> i definitely not oh it's carpenter i am definitely not finding five of them why do i have three nades as well i guess i yeah i used one earlier look he's so slow i'm surprised that that hit i guess i maybe just want to try and find a good wall gun i don't know the pistol seems like it does quite a bit already so do i even want to bother I don't know. Solo quick revive. I get okay. So if we want to live forever, if we want to be exploring, if we want to be playing the game, I guess solo quick revive is probably what we want to go ahead and get. I'll go for it. I'll pony up the 500 right now, and I'll buy that three times if I have to. You know, probably won't. Uh, it's just me throwing out some numbers. You know, me being like, oh yeah, dude, I'll I'll live forever, right? Hmm. I I don't know about that, but. It seems like I'm gonna have an okay time. I mean, this is me, like, with no guns, just walking around and assuming things. I haven't bought any doors yet, so I don't really know how good of a time I'm gonna have, but I am hoping that we can open up some doors and explore. I really want to find the box, which, if I want to do that, normally you just look up and you kind of figure out where it is, but I don't actually see it in the sky right now, so... That may be an issue. They may have taken it out and made it where it's hard to find it, which, you know, whatever. It's fine by me, I guess. Where? Oh. Or, I'm stupid. <laughs> that could be very likely as well. So, is it actually in this building? It looks like it's in this building right here. See, you like can't really see it that well. I guess I'll just unload on this zombie and see if I think I can get away with going to it. Yes! The box is in here. I think I can get away with using the pistol for this round and rounding them up and throwing nades at them and then blasting them and getting a ton of points yeah i think i i think i can manage i mean i'm already super close to getting there so even if i like do run out of ammo before killing all these guys guess what i have enough to buy a random weapon at the mystery box so it it wouldn't even matter dude it wouldn't even matter now so far I think this map's pretty cool i mean there's a lot of cool looking stuff it's obviously very reminiscent of minecraft uh, oh, a trench gun. Um, if I played Minecraft more on my own channel, I'd maybe, like, play... There's a Minecraft mod for zombies. Oh! What the hell? What? I should probably turn on music. Just to make sure nothing's happening. I really hate that, that I have to do that. Uh, it looks like there's a soul chest in here. What is this? Uh, discount soda. I'm assuming that makes things cheaper. So maybe I want to buy that. Wait, what? What is this? Hold and activate Teddy 1. Okay, Teddy 1. What do you do? Oh! It, it's doing something! Hold on! What are you doing? I see stuff going on outside. Oh, is there a soul chest outside that it's collecting? I don't think it's inside. I don't think it's that teddy bear. No, it's not. Okay. What is it going to, then? Uh, where's the soul chest? Wait, but it doesn't work right here? Oh, no, it does. Okay, so the soul chest is right here. This is the one we're doing, not the teddy bear. The teddy bear, I don't think the teddy bear actually did anything. I don't think it worked at all. So we need to keep these zombies coming in. We need them to be faster, stronger, whatever. I mean, like, I need I need some guns. And then I need to be whapping them, all right? Because this thing is going to close if I don't hurry. So I need the zombies to come to me now, please, quickly. Come on, hurry, zombies, hurry. Get over here, quick, fast, move, speed. Do something. Come on, man. Hey, there we go. Okay, so the soul chest did not close. Apparently, this wasn't actually even in the original map. So, that's kind of interesting. Also, the map sounds so quiet now that I turned on music. Did I screw something up? Did I glitch the... Like, okay. You can hear zombies. Is there, like, ambient... Like, my shots don't seem like they're making noise. Did I turn something down whenever I turned the music up? Like, I don't know. Here, let's shoot again. Yeah, my gun doesn't make noise. What? How did that happen? Is that like a random glitch or is this some known trench gun glitch? Uh, here, I'll try my other gun. 
And we'll see if it makes noises. Yeah? Okay. It's just the trench gun. I, all right. I have no idea what's up with the trench gun. Uh, I'm going to turn music back on until it becomes a problem, which hopefully it won't. Hopefully no copyright music will play. I don't need any Beyonce while I'm playing zombies, guys, okay? Don't don't put that in your map, please. I'd really like...